Hey friends. Well, today is pretty fun because we're gonna do some kind of snow painting and I just used all of the shaving cream, but I found it easier to hold the, the pan up when I did the shaving cream than uh, actually trying to do it uh, like that. So I'm gonna spread this out a little bit with a spoon. Now snow painting sounds like a great idea right here in winter. And this is super cool. This is what it will look like in just a minute. See that? Isn't that great? I mean, it's so cool how it turns out like that. So I think your kids are gonna like this. And I don't think this is just a preschool thing. I think you can even do this with your elementary kids because they would have more of the process that they could do. And I think it'd be great. Okay, so I've spread out the shaving cream here and I've got a stir stick because I'm really probably just gonna throw, throw it away. And they have those at Walmart for you. They're free. And, uh, or anywhere you can get uh, the um, paint mixed or something. So I've got some uh, colors here of food dye. And here's a neon, actually, if you want to try neon, too. But you want to simply drop this in little drops everywhere. Just real simple like this. So there's green. And if you want to do like your favorite team's colors or something, why not? Or you can just do them all. Yeah, do them all. So here we are with the blue. Now don't go crazy. Please help the kids know if they're, especially older kids, if they're the ones squirting, uh, don't squirt. This is a clothes killer. Like it will completely stain and it's all over for sure. So you want to wear your Mr. Mark's apron. <laughs> okay. And I can't resist. I'm going to add the yellow too. Because you just have to have all the colors. So here we go. And you could do the stir stick with this. Or you could just use some simple... Um, see, here's what the stir stick would do. If I draw it back and forth like this or I could use some toothpicks or skewers and see if that would give us a little finer streakage. Hmm, is that word? All right, streakage. You know, doing activities like this when you're stuck inside and it's it looks like it'll be messy, it'll be fun. Um, that'll that'll make it okay to be able to have to be stuck inside on cold days. So swirl it around every way you want until you get it a good design. So that's actually a pretty good design like that. Ooh, I like that. Doesn't it look good? So now we're just simply gonna lay the paper on top. And when we lay the paper on top, we have to gently press it and then pull it off and then wait for it to dry. And I think it'll really look good. There went our stick, let me pull that out. All right, toss that in the trash. I'm gonna lay on the paper like this. Gently touch it. You can kind of see it through the paper. Probably like a white construction paper or something like that would be awesome. It's kind of what these were, a little bit heavier and that worked out really good. And this will transfer the design. And so teacher, if you decide to do all of this uh, in the bowl part, and then you can transfer all of this off and, and lay it out to dry, or let the child do that each time, and then each time it would change. So if you wanna get a party pick and change it up a little bit and make the design a little bit different, you can. You can even add some more stuff, like whenever it moved, now I can add some more color in this place and it changes up a little bit. And I think that's nice because you can just keep trying different things and different designs. Lots of fun. So I think it's very, very simple and your kids are gonna enjoy it. The hard thing to do is to lay it out and wait because <laughs> it's gotta dry completely. And I think if you'll follow all the instructions, 
you and your kids will have a good time doing this. Hey, we've got all these ideas here at Mr. Mark's Classroom. Be sure to sign up so that you can get every, of, every one of these ideas as they come along and the free book that's offered. But also check out Classroom Swag because Classroom Swag is a monthly publication with 20 pages of great ideas and you get it every month. The best part is, is that you can share it with all of the leaders and teachers in your church. That means one subscription and it's for your whole church. So check it out at getclassroomswag.com.